The International Pet Fashion Expo! China, no! France, no! Britain, Russia, Africa, Brazil! Life Baxter, report for judging! Life Baxter, report for judging! I'm on my way! Hold on! I just need to get to my kiosk! Hurry up, Life! You're late! I know! You'll be disqualified! I know! Want a watermelon? No! <laughs> Empty? What the what? <laughs> I'm not ready, judges. All of my fashions are gone and... I'm in my pajamas! <laughs> <laughs> Not the empty kiosk, me wearing pajamas, and my friends holding watermelons dream again. Come on, International Pet Fashion Expo! Let's get you started so I can get a decent night's sleep! You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. Convention Center in footy pajamas that I haven't worn since kindergarten. I'm telling you, Emma, I am so ready for the expo to get started. There's so much stuff that I need to do, I'm afraid I'm gonna forget something. The IPFE is just about the most important thing I've ever done. As we say in downtown city, chillax, Blythe. It's just your subconscious trying to freak you out. Well, my subconscious is doing a really good job, because that's what I am, totally freaked out. Oh. I'm getting another call, Em. Okay, I'll stop by later. I want to give you some pics from our trips and get your opinions on the latest edition of Aspiring Tour Guides Weekly. There's a magazine for aspiring tour guides? Uh-huh, I publish it myself. Bye. TTYL. Blythe Baxter, Mona Autumn from Trey Blase Magazine. <gasps> OMG, Mona Autumn on my cell phone? Yes, it is I. Lose the bow. Blythe, as you know, make that as everyone knows, I am going to be a guest judge at the International Pet Fashion Expo, and I heard you had signed up as a participant. Oh, yes, I... As you are at the forefront of the teens designing fashion for pets trend, I was thinking, it might be fun to do an article on you and your designs. You can do whatever you want and include whomever you want in the photo shoot next week on the morning of the opening. How honored would you be to do that? Uh... Very? Question was rhetorical, dear, which means I wasn't expecting an answer. Of course, you'd be honored. <sighs> this is so cool. Thanks, Mona. You're awesome. Yes, I know. Ciao. Yup. This is going to be big. I can guarantee that after our Trey Blase magazine cover hits the newsstands, you'll be the most famous pets in the nation. Maybe in the world. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm so wow. Okay, gotta go. Start practicing your model poses! Oh, this is gonna be so cool! Yeah, the photographer's gonna be all like, work it, Vinny! And I'm gonna be all like, oh yeah, mm, mm, I'm working it! Huh. Fortunately, I don't have to work it. You are most correct, Penny Ling. No working is needed to highlight her almost criminal level of adorableness. <laughs> What's the matter, Russell? Aren't you excited about getting your picture taken? Well, I'm not really the posy pouty male model in front of the camera type. I'm more of a serious looking guy behind the scenes type. Don't worry about it, Russell. All eyes are going to be on me anyway. <laughs> That's fine with me. And I've got at least 10 more outfits I have to sew, plus a couple more design sketches to tighten up, put the finishing touches on the kiosk, and all of this has to be ready before the photo shoot. Dang, that's what I call having a full plate of fashion. I hope you know we're totally there for you, Blythe. Any help you need, just ask. Oh, thanks. I knew I could count on... Uh-oh. What's wrong? Ha! Biscuits busted! Busted? I'm too sure we don't have any idea what you're, like, talking about. Yeah, like we were looking for a... Uh, a contact lens. That's right. A contact lens. Neither of you wear contacts. We didn't say it was our contact lens. Score! Admit it. 
You two are spying on me to find out what I'm doing for the IPFE. Uh, as if, if we were spying and we weren't, it would be like just our regular everyday spying. So get over yourself, Blythe. Besides, your cart is so like junkyard. Star! It used to be junkyard, but it isn't anymore since Blythe fixed it up. Yeah, now it looks cool and totally retail. But you'll be able to see for yourselves when my kiosk and I are featured in the pages of Trey Blase magazine. No way! We don't, like, believe you. Way, and I don't, like, care if you, like, believe me. Score! <sighs> don't tell anybody, Brittany, but I completely forgot about that ippy effy thingy. Who would I tell, Whitney? I forgot about it, too, and it's probably too late to enter something now. With Daddy's big news about to break, we really need to make sure Blythe doesn't get any positive attention at the expo. Well, it's never too late to mess with Blythe and keep her from ruining our favorite magazine by, by banging it! it. Star! Yes, it is I, Mona Autumn. Oh, hi, Miss Autumn. Do you have a moment to touch base? Of course you do. We've got everything set up for the photo shoot. We're going with the city girl in the jungle theme, for contrast. And we need you to let us know if you're allergic to bananas. Bananas? Uh, well, I... Uh, wait, I thought you said I could do whatever I wanted. Did I? That doesn't sound like me. Anyway, in the interest of time, we're going to have to limit the shoot to just one pet. Ciao! Huh? Just one? But I already told the pets they could all be in the shoot. Right, so I'm Delilah. I've just come to have a bit of a layabout before the big fashion expo. Suppose this is the part where you tell me what's what and who's who with your lot. I think she means we should introduce ourselves. Oh! oh. Hi, Delilah. I'm, I'm Vinny. Sunil. Penny Ling. Pepper. Russell. Winka. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Delilah. I'm Zoe. So, your owner's going to the expo? Yeah, we're gonna be there, I suppose. We sort of a big deal on a small scale back in London where I come from. Fashion-wise, that is. Uh, does that make sense to you? No. And I find that makes us strangely appealing. Oh, I find you strange too, ducky. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I'm a duck? <sighs> we're all gonna be on the cover of a fashion magazine. You may have heard of it, Trey Blase. Yeah, well, that's nice. It's nice, if you know what I mean. Have no, a good list. Oh, she is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside of an enigma floating on a sea of what the heck? Let's see, how do I put this? Being in a photo shoot is all that, but when you've been a fashionista as long as I have, they're kind of been there, not sure why I did that. As a fellow fashionista, I'd simply like to say, speak for yourself, Delilah. Well, who else can I speak for? Can only speak for myself, ain't that right then? <sighs> Confused again. Look, I'm not trying to rain in your parade, but after a while, even big events like the Fashion Expo seem sort of... Old Chapo. <gasps> oh, could you tell us what the Pet Fashion Expo is like? Life is really egg, egg, egg! I suppose this is the part where we enter an alternate reality and I lay it out for you lot via sanguine musical vocalizations and rhythmic capering about, innit? Well, it clears it up. Oh no, I'm lightheaded. Uh, does that mean we're about to do a musical fantasy? Yeah, like, whatever. But I will warn you that when it comes to this kind of thing, I can get alarmingly upbeat. All right, petlets, eyes on the kitty. Tokyo, Japan, come from all around the globe Bringing fashion to the show Every eye is on us, on us Camera click All around the world you can find her All around the world you can find her You know they love me Stepping to my world, clothing prep Hair is curled, eyes perfect and some flash Got the attitude to match Runway laid out at your feet When you walk it's to the beat Take a step, try not to trip Who was that last part? <laughs> when you figure out your style Strike a pose, never smile Make a face, you're thinking hard Looking like you're looking for a one Ow, uh, what 
what's she looking at? I don't know, but it looks interesting. Brazilian Pavilion Chinese Pavilion Italian Pavilion The German Pavilion French Pavilion Spanish Pavilion Stop! You strut your stuff! I strut my stuff! You strut your stuff! I strut my stuff! You strut your stuff! I strut my stuff! And then you spin! Whee! You strut your stuff! I strut my stuff! You know you're in! Really? Get to the end! And then you stop! What are we waiting for? It's suspenseful. Uh, no, I think the song is actually over. Great photos of your trips to Paris and Rio, you two. And though I wasn't there to guide you, your Shanghai trip looked like a lot of fun. It was, Emma. All my trips were a blast. And as an extra added bonus, they all really influenced my designs. Well, you can totally tell. Check out how I worked the Great Wall of China into the color of this dog sweater. Oh, I wish I was a dog. I mean, so that I could wear a cool sweater like that. You know, Blythe, you should really think about designing people fashions. Yeah, maybe someday. But right now, I love designing for pets. I feel a real connection there. Which is why, even though it's the coolest opportunity ever, I'm a little bummed that they're only letting me choose one pet for the photo shoot. The rest of the pets are going to be so disappointed. Really? It's not like you think the pets can understand what's going on, do you? Because that'd be crazy talk. Uh, no, no. <laughs> they can't understand what's going on. <laughs> of course not. It's just that I can't decide which pet outfit will be the best to feature. You know, all the pets have different body shapes and all. It's very difficult to decide which pet to choose or something like that. Well, this definitely isn't something you need to stress about. So why don't you throw all the pets' names into here and let the cat do the choosing for you? Yeah, that's a great idea, Emma. Mix them up good. Pick a name. Russell? What's wrong? Well, Russell's adorable and all, but so is Minka and Pepper. Well, Penny Ling is super cute. Zoe's an actual show dog, so that would be the better choice since she has so much experience posing and... Nope, fair is fair. I picked Russell's name out of the hat, so he's the one who gets to be in the shoot. The others will just have to understand. Look, Whitney, there's Blight's chaos thingy. <gasps> Blight did make it better. <sighs> it's not junk yard anymore. <sighs> Where are you going? To make it look junk yard again. Oh, good heavens! Don't you even think about it! <gasps> <gasps> Fisher Biscuit. Oh, this is terrible news. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi. 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 They say that you can understand pets. If that's true, then what did I just say? <clears throat> they say that you can understand pets. If that's true, then what did I just say? Oh, nice trick. How is she at back scratching? <laughs> the best. I heard we had a new guest here today. You must be Delilah. A little higher, if you please. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Um, Blythe, uh, Delilah's owner is part of the Pet Fashion Expo, and Delilah calls herself a fashionista. So perhaps she could join us at the photo shoot? Oh, uh, about that photo shoot. Moda Autumn told me that only one pet can be in it. What? 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 Oh, what? No, it's not there. <laughs> So, in the interest of being fair, I put everyone's name in a hat and picked one out. I agree, Blythe. That seems totally fair. And the name I picked was Russell's. <gasps> what? I know, I know. But the hat has spoken. What can I do? Well, do a repick. That's what you can do. A repick? Yes. There are so many more qualified and interested pets here that should be in that shoot. Listen to the hedgehog, Blythe. He speaks the truth. Yeah! yeah! 
Well, okay, if that's what you all want. Give me a sec. Just happen to have the papers with the names on them still in here. Russell. What? Huh? Let's try this again, but this time I'll pick. Russell. Unbelievable! Give me that! <sighs> You're not mixing the names up enough! <sighs> Russell. Oh, come on now! Russell! Huh. Russell! Lassure! Oh, hold on. Russell! Oh, Russell! Delilah! <gasps> I'm just kidding. Says Russell. <sighs> Me. I don't know what to say, Russell. Obviously, it's meant to be. You're the pet for the photo shoot. Oh, but I don't want to do it, Blythe. I'm much more of a behind-the-scenes hedgehog. I'm not used to being out front. Don't worry. I'll make sure it's great. And you'll really be helping me out, Russell. Well, if it's going to help you out, then I'm 100% on board. Good boy. Blythe, can I see you? Be right there, Mrs. Twombly. You aren't 100% sure about this, are you? Not even close. Good. You weren't giving him grief about doing that photo shoot, were you? I have no idea what you're talking about. If Blythe's cap wants to pick a non-professional over me, then so be it. Zoe, don't be a fibber. Okay. I think Blythe and her cap should have picked me. The thing is, you're right. You should have been chosen because you're the pro. Thank you. But you weren't. Russell was. He's always doing everything he can do to help us out. Why can't you do the same for him? That's right, Zoe. If there's anything that Russell could use right now, it's encouragement from a professional that knows what she's talking about. Okay, I'll help. <sighs> Everyone thinks it's so easy to be a diva. What's up, Mrs. T? Look, Blythe, just look at this. Today, Fisher Biscuit announced plans to build another largest ever pet shop here in downtown city. <sighs> this isn't good. Hmm, it's bad enough to have one of those monster stores around, but a second one is going to make it even harder on the small stores like us. What are you going to do? Well, your pet fashion expo and photo shoot couldn't be happening at a better time. How's that? With all that publicity and attention coming your way, we're bound to get some extra business. Of course, I'm not saying that the future of Littlest Pet Shop is riding on your tiny shoulders, dear, but, oh, I guess I am saying that. Don't worry, Mrs. Twombly. I'll do my best not to let you and Littlest Pet Shop down. <sighs> He's not moving. Why isn't he moving? He should be moving! Russell, you've got to move for the camera. Remember those modeling poses we practiced? Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> you taught the hedgehog those moves? No, I mean, yes. I mean, he was doing them a lot better before. He's doing them a lot worse now. Oh, Blythe! I just wanted to remind you that we're counting on you to save Littlest Pet Shop from certain doom. Uh, okay, Mrs. Twombly. He's closing his eyes. Why is he closing his eyes? He shouldn't be closing his eyes! Russell, don't close your eyes! Hello? Oh, hello, Blythe. It's me again, Mrs. Twombly. I just wanted to remind you that... I know, certain doom. The hedgehog keeps closing his eyes! Russell, don't close your eyes! <gasps> I'm so sorry. You should be. Your failure has brought certain doom to this little patch. Ah! Uh, 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 just another dream. <sighs> well, at least there weren't any watermelons in this one. Oh no. I set the alarm for the wrong time. I'm gonna be late for the photo shoot! Careful now, sweeties. Remember to keep your paws and tails on the inside of the scooter at all times. So, Russell, ready for your big photo shoot? Actually, I'm pretty terrified about the whole thing. 
And now, Russell, I don't want you to worry about it one little bit. <laughs> You're a handsome fellow, and I have always found you to be quite pho... 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 <coughs> photogenic. Really? Well, yes, in a hedgehoggy-ish kind of way. Uh, thanks? All you have to do is roll out some of that natural Russell charm, and you'll do just fine. Natural Russell charm? Hmm... Nice job. <laughs> Felt nice, too. I'm running late, Mrs. Twombly. Somehow I set my alarm at the wrong time. Why would I do that? I don't know. I never do that. And now I'm going to be late. Don't worry about it, dear. You'll get there in plenty of time. What the huh? My trailer hitch is gone. Oh, my goodness, it is gone. Uh, how am I going to get my kiosk to the convention now? Everybody to the Littlest Pet Shuttle. How did that happen? What am I gonna do? Mona Autumn's gonna be furious! Your dad? On a flight. Oh, how could the situation get any worse? Watermelon? No! Score! <laughs> <laughs>